Hey guys, welcome to Walkthrough Wednesday. Danny here. This week we will be doing the Tarot of the Secret Forest. Make sure to stay tuned after the walkthrough for our midweek reading. I'll see you on the other side. Tarot of the Secret Forest. This is a super interesting deck, you guys. This is by Lucia Mat Mattioli. I think that's how you say it. I'm probably butchering it. This is in a basic low scarabio tuck box. It comes with a little white book. However, even though there's only a few pages to read through because, you know, it's in multiple languages, it's actually very interesting. It kind of explains the concept, how to read these cards, and gives some very neat keywords for every card. As for the cards themselves, I did trim the sides off, so that black border did go all the way around, but I decided that it was more aesthetically pleasing without it. I think that these are probably the most earth bound <laughs> earthy looking cards that I own for some reason I just feel like these the tones in them the color palette makes it feel like I could have gone in the woods somewhere and dug up a box that had these in there and they're old and and you know worn from nature I don't know that's the kind of vibe that I get from these cards in that same breath, because they are very tonal, they have this muted palette, sometimes the pictures themselves get a bit muddy. So it's kind of hard to see, especially on the color side, because this is a two-sided deck. Um, it is hard to see in some pictures what's going on. It's like, what am I looking at? I, I can't really tell. It's not many, but there are a few, especially up close. I do love the fact that each suit has its own color. So the swords are this bluish color. There's a green for the cups, red for the wands, and like a golden yellow for the pentacles. So when you lay it out in the spread, you can really see what you have like right offhand. And right away, you'll note that this is a very unique voice. It's not really RWS, although there can be a couple of nods to it here and there. Um, it's not quite based on numerology. It, it's, it's its own unique voice. Not to mention the fact that it is reversible. Like there's a whole black and white side that we're getting onto right now that has its own unique voice from the front. Um, so you can get two totally separate readings from the same deck. Just by flipping these cards around, it's a totally different feel. But what I mean is, you'll see on each, I think after the majors, I don't think I wrote it on the majors, but when you get to the minors, there are specific keywords that this little white book gave to each of the cards. And I thought some of them were very unique. There's a lot of them that the second you see the picture, you're like, oh yeah, I get that. Immediately, I get that. But then there were some that were very interesting. I really, I was compelled to write them on the back. <laughs> I'll put it to you that way. There were certain ones that I just thought were genius that I would have never picked up on that keyword had I not seen it. So I feel like it's got some really interesting vibes. It's got a really interesting voice. And I love that about this deck. I feel like sometimes... The keyword meshes more with the back than it does the front, but it gives me that whole different dynamic. Now, I will say that it's very rare that I read with this black and white side. I love to look at it. Like, I'll flip through it and look through the back, but I mainly read on the front. And I feel like this deck is 100% useful on shadow reads. If I am looking to dig deep... If I'm looking to go within, and again, that earthy vibe, you want to go inside, I feel like this is a very real, a very honest deck to use if you are trying to go deeper. I've used this for myself, I've used this for others, and I find it reads beautifully every single time. The size of this deck is like a basic tarot size. I did cut off the sides, so of course it's thinner now, but it's a basic tarot size. Now, I did edge my cards in black, and for some reason, even though it's been over a year that I've edged these, 
Um, it still kind of comes off on my surface. Beautiful shuffle. Really flexible cards. But, yeah, so I wanted to protect my surface and put down a tarot cloth. You can see it doesn't really come off, well, it comes off a little bit on my hands, but not much. Um, I don't know why. I used a Sharpie. It obviously did not hold up very well. I don't know. Maybe it was a bad Sharpie. <laughs> so now on to my favorites. So you'll notice my favorites are a little serious, but that's because of the nature of this deck. I find that it's a serious deck and my favorite cards really kind of have a nod to that. When it comes to the Major Arcana, my absolute favorite is going to be the Hanged Man. I love this card because I feel like you can see the sacrifice. This fairy is pinned to a board like an insect and she's turned around and she's got her hands tied behind her back, but it feels like this was done intentionally, like she knew she didn't fight it. She allowed it to happen. So I thought that that was really emotion evoking. <laughs> For my court card, that would be the Queen of Swords. I feel like she really shows that guilt and regret, which are some of the keywords that they have for this card, but it really shows her torment within her mind. Then for my minor arcana, I chose the Seven of Swords because of the idea of this man that she is like lovingly holding his face, but then you see that stinger, that scorpion coming and it just makes you feel like, oh, sometimes what you see is not what you get. And those are my favorites. All right, you guys. So, what do we need? To end out this week in strength and confidence. Okay, you guys, so what do we need to end this week confidently? If you hear a hippopotamus walking in the background, it's just my cat. So we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Lovers, and we have the King of Swords. So how can we end this week in confidence? I feel like these three make me feel like there is a choice to be made in the way that we are living our life at the end of this week, right? Like the way we are living our truth and the way we are projecting ourselves, right? I feel like we need to take some time to go within and really decide who we are at the end of this week. Um, I feel like there may have been some shifts or there may be some shifts um, like kind of in the process, you know, reaching this Wednesday. Like there's been a little bit of a shifting at the beginning of the week that's going to kind of cause this, this kind of like thoughtful reflection, I think is the best way to describe it. Like that thoughtful reflection that will ultimately cause us to make a choice as to how we're going to 
kind of navigate the rest of the week, right? So that could be anything that's being presented in front of us, taking that time to really understand what we want to do moving forward and how we want to um, live in these spaces that are being presented to us. And I feel like that's kind of what the lovers is telling us right now is that this is, this is about making those conscious choices when it comes to our perspectives, when it comes to our, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, mm, I can't think of the word that I'm looking for, but kind of like our inner landscape, like kind of making those choices as to which energy we're going to embody. I can't think of the word. If you know the word that I'm thinking of, please tell me because I can't pull it out right now. Um, but it's kind of where I'm going. Like, you know, like where our inner selves uh, want to be. Our authentic self coming through. Um, and sometimes we have those choices. And, you know, I feel like this King of Swords is kind of telling us that. Like, sometimes we have these choices within ourselves to either be petty or not to be loving or not to be just or not um i feel like we have to make those decisions and those things can be projected in many different forms but i feel like we need to make conscious decisions of where we want to stand do we want to continue upon this path um into next week in that energy in that space so i feel like we need to make those decisions and kind of err towards the side of being the bigger better person being just being in your knowledge in your wisdom more so than in your feels right so make these decisions especially coming from a place of feelings and emotion um kind of consciously making those decisions based on Kind of both, because I mean, it's literally flanked on either side by, you know, the head and the heart. So kind of putting these two together to move forward is really where I think it's at um, for the end of the week. So I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, comments, please let me know below. How do you like this deck? Did you find it interesting? Do you not like it? Let me know. I want to hear what you have to say about this deck. And if you're looking for me, all my links are below. You can book a reading, find my Instagram, find my Etsy, my Patreon, all kinds of good stuff. So I will see you guys very, very soon. And I'm sending you all my love. Bye-bye.